Hey guys, I'm getting ready to start cooking breakfast this morning. So just come hang out with me while I cook. Uh, so today I'm going to be making some chorizo and eggs. Um, my plan was to make breakfast tacos with chorizo and eggs. However, I ordered my groceries from my instant car and they didn't bring my tortillas. And I had to, they had to send me the order twice because they, the first one they delivered to the wrong location to somebody else. And then the second time they didn't bring my tortillas. So instead of making breakfast tacos, I'm just gonna make that chorizo and eggs. And then um, we'll just have to eat it with either, uh, with some rice on the side instead of tortillas or um, just eat the chorizo and eggs, I guess. <laughs> so just coming out with me, that's what we're, that's what we're gonna do today. All right, so we got the chorizo here. I'm gonna put it all in here. So we are in Texas, and I was uh, we was very I was very lucky that I found this um, uh, kind of like a Mexican Hispanic uh, store, I guess. Uh, and so I ordered some groceries from there. Um, we'll see see what it tastes like. You know, being Texas and being such a huge uh, Hispanic uh, population here, I feel like a lot of the stuff is probably authentic, and that's I'm all about that life. Give me the real deal. So, just trying to place this in a way that you guys can see more of it. It's so hard. Okay, right there. I think it's good there. So I got my skillet nice and warm, and then I um, sprayed it with uh, um, olive oil. That's the only type of oil that I use. I don't like using any um, butter or regular oil or anything like that. I don't use none of that stuff. It's just personal preferences. Then what happened? Did I? Oh, I turned it up. Oh, there we go. Sorry, I accidentally had turned off the button. And my like, why isn't I getting hot? So for anybody that doesn't know what chorizo is, it's a, uh, um, I, it's similar to like breakfast sausage, I guess, but it has a lot of. Uh, a lot of spices it's like like super um they put a lot of condiments on a lot of spices a lot of different type of peppers and i don't know what all but it's like super it, it's really tasty it has a lot of spices in it so it's a whole mi mixture of ground meat and a lot of spices so that's what it is so it's super tasty uh you really don't gotta add anything to it and then uh, um yeah, and that's, that, that's what it is. So similar to like a breakfast sausage, I guess, in a way. So this is one of the dishes that growing up, um, you know, it was really, you know, something that my mom used to cook for us, you know, quite a lot for breakfast time. So, you know, being able to find something like that here, I was really happy. I mean, you can always find chorizo at any other store, but it's not the authentic, real deal, so. You gotta go to like the Mexican stores, like the Spanish uh, stores, in order to find that the real, the real meal. So yeah, I was so disappointed with Instant Car this morning. Like they have always done a good job for the most part getting my groceries. However, this morning, you know, I scheduled the order at like eight in the morning today. I'm like, yeah, I should be here, you know, early enough so that I can cook breakfast and all of that. So 
then I get a notification saying that my order had been um, wrapped. And I'm like, where? Like, I had no order here. So I tried calling the shopper that was bringing the order. I messaged her and called her and she didn't answer. So then I called customer service. I'm like, no, like, where is my order? So they called the shopper and, you know, to see where she had wrapped the order at. And then it came to, or she said that, um, she had dropped it at a, a dog shelter that is near where we are, I guess, apparently. And I'm like, what the hell? Like, why would you do that? Um, so that was really disappointing. I'm like, I, you know, I put specific instructions on the delivery. That was like, we are at a truck stop. It's a TA truck stop. Call me when you get here. And, you know, she didn't follow none of those instructions. So, so they had it to um, reorder the list of groceries and then it took them a, you know, a good, I don't know, another hour or whatever to bring them to me. And then so the guy that brought the groceries, he was like missing some, some items. He was missing my tortillas. So that messed up the whole plan of, you know, making my breakfast tacos that I was going to make. But, so they did charge me for it. So I don't know what happened. I don't know if he just like, I don't know. I'm not saying anything because I don't know. But all I know is that I didn't get them. So now I gotta call them back, call instant car support, and then let them know, you know, that I have missing items. They're like good at, you know, getting get the credit back right away, but it's like, it's not about the money. It's the inconvenience, you know. If I had a plan on what I was gonna do, and it's just not gonna work that way. But it is what it is. I'm starving, so I'm gonna eat the chorizo and eggs, and then I'll do some. Um, I got some uh, white steamed rice that is already cooked, so I'm just gonna do some of that on the side. But yeah, it's coming along pretty, pretty good. It smells good. No really tasty, so we'll see. I haven't had any of that stuff in like, I don't know, like super long time. Hope you guys can see it well enough. And I got my window open on the other side. I had to roll it down some because, you know, the smell gets, it gets pretty intense in the truck. I don't care, whatever, you know. I always uh, spray, um, I have some spray that I spray after I'm done cooking so that, you know, it kills the, the smell of food in here. And then we, you know, usually roll the windows down, keep them down for a minute so that the whole truck doesn't smell like food. But it's gonna happen, you know what I mean? No matter what you do, it's still gonna happen. You're still gonna smell the food in the truck but you know what I much rather smell like food in here all day long than be eating that truck stop food. Like that's just that's just personal preferences like I said. So let me tell you something guys with uh you know everybody knows that the rates are pretty crazy right now and you know it's kind of the slower season for uh flatbed step day so we've been in texas for about um what three four days now we brought a load here and then you know just trying to get something to get back to the area that we want to be at it's just not happening you know there was nothing i mean there was loads posted however they were posted for like really cheap you know rates and i'm like no we're not doing none of that so we just decided to camp out here for the weekend we already have a load book for monday so we got a you know a decent paying one for monday morning so we're picking it up monday morning like right around the corner from here but we had it to wait like 
three days, you know, in order to get a good load. And, you know, sometimes that's what you gotta do. You just gotta sit around and wait. We don't mind at all because, I mean, we do mind because we're here to make money, but we don't mind sitting around if we have to because we're not gonna be taking anything that doesn't make sense for us. That's, you know, that's the bottom of it. And, you know, like I mentioned on my previous videos, you know, for us, this is our home now so we're living in the truck full time so it's not like we're rushing to go anywhere like we don't have a, a home to go to or anything so we're fine you know we just plan ahead and it's like all right we're staying here for the weekend all right let's get some groceries let's cook some you know yummy uh, food and enjoy the time you know that we're here let's relax i got some work that i gotta do on my computer later on and then you know seneca's just chilling you know resting before he gets to uh, start driving again on monday so it is what it is. almost done so this doesn't take long to cook I don't know maybe 10 minutes if that so cooking out here I, I don't do anything complicated you know obviously you are limited to the things that you can do out here I don't like cooking outside of the truck I'm not gonna bring all my stuff outside to cook out there if I can do it here however I understand that there's only so many things I can do but I like to do things that are like you know easy simple I don't like to do nothing complicated that takes a long time or anything like that so I just try to I plan ahead you know for the week on what I want to cook what day and you know if I'm gonna cook enough for two or three days or whatever the case might be but it's just like I, I do like simple stuff I don't do nothing you know that takes too long or anything like that so it's all um, matter about you know, planning, like just planning ahead. See if Seneca likes the chorizo. I don't think that I have ever made it before for him. Have you ever had it with chorizo? Never had chorizo. You have never had chorizo before? <laughs> so yeah, so he said that he has never had it before, so we'll see if he likes it. He, he's not a picky eater, so hopefully he'll like it. Like I said, it's just ground meat um, with a lot of different spices. That you know that's what it is. So we shall see. <laughs> but um yeah, so I'm gonna put you know the we're gonna uh, scramble the eggs on top of it, mix them all together, and then I'll do uh, the steamed rice on the side, and that should do it for now. It didn't turn out to what I was uh, wanting to do this morning with the tacos and all of that, but you, you know, you just gotta make it work. So I'm gonna have to place another order later today, uh, you know, getting some corn tortillas and then some other stuff that um, were not included in my order. So what do you guys use to cook in your truck? Let me know in the comments. What do you use? Do you use what? A skillet? Do you? I know a lot of people like to use like the air fryers. Um, I have never used one of those. So uh, I just have the skillet. That's all I have. And so far it has been working out pretty good for me. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll try something different in the future. But for now, 
it, it works really well and it's pretty easy to clean so I'm, I'm happy with that and I got mine off of uh, um, Amazon Alrighty, so now we're gonna start cracking the eggs on top of it and mix everything together. Seems like it's ready. My egg. <laughs> So I did five eggs. So now we're just gonna mix them all together. Like I said, the chorizo already has a lot of spices. So I don't wanna add anything else to it. Um, I don't know if it needs a little bit of salt or not. Usually it's a little bit on the salty side, the chorizo is. So when you're mixing it with something else, you don't need to be adding any more salt. And I don't like eating a lot of salt. So we'll just leave it like that. So if you guys have had chorizo before, let me know if you like it, um, where do you where do you got it from, uh, what state were you in, or anything like that. Let me tell you guys something about Seneca. <laughs> Seneca is so damn spoiled out here in the truck. <laughs> He's sitting next mm -hmm. to me listening to what I'm saying. <laughs> he oh, is yeah. so damn spoiled here in the truck. I be cooking for him three times a day, almost every single day. And uh, um, love it. <laughs> he say he loves it. But I'm really happy that I can, uh, that I actually, that I have that time now to be, um, you know, to take care of him. You know, before when I was working in you know, a full-time job, it was really hard to come home and wanted to like, you know, wanted to cook dinner, breakfast or this or that after working 10, 12 hours a day that, you know, it's really hard to want to do all of that. So now that I'm here with him in the truck, it makes life a lot easier for him, for me. And then I, I like taking care of him. Like I like taking care of my husband. I like, you know, being of service to my husband. And, you know, I feel like, you know, now that we like almost not raising kids and all of that, that, you know, like for me, that's my purpose in life now is just to, you know, serve my husband and make sure that he has what he needs to make life easier for him, you know, when we're out here on the road. Because he does, you know, so much with the driving and, you know, securing loads and tarping and, you know, all of that stuff that I don't want him to, I don't want him to have to stress about anything else, you know, if I can help, so. Alrighty, so it's almost done. So you guys can see, let's go, put it closer to the camera so you guys can see what it's looking like. See, mm -hmm. it looks really good. So it's just eggs and then the chorizo mixed together. Look how yummy that looks.
And then now what I'm gonna do with the rice, like I said, I already have the rice cooked, so I'm just gonna put it right here to let it warm up. I don't wanna put it in the microwave. I do have a microwave in here as well, but I'm just gonna use the skillet for that. So I use a lot of Ziploc bags for everything. So I got my, my rice here, leftover from uh, a couple nights ago. So we'll just let that warm up a little bit and then it'll be ready after that. Everything else over here with the chorizo and eggs is, is done. So this is what I use for cooking. It's just uh, I either do olive oil or avocado oil. That's all I use. So I'm just gonna spray a little bit on the on the rice. That way it's not too too dry. But yeah, you guys out there, you know, you young young people out there dating and all of that, find yourself a good woman that can do things like this for you while you're on the road and not somebody that it's just gonna be, you know, out there spending your hard earned money that you get out here on the road. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's super important to have somebody that can, um, you know, help you get somewhere in life and not just somebody to be there and do nothing for you, you know what I mean? So gotta be smart with that stuff out there Smelling so so yummy. I want to try some. Mmm, my goodness. It's really good. It's super good. Yeah, this is the real deal. This is like the authentic uh, chorizo. Let me grab some plates, I'll be right back. Alrighty, so we are gonna start getting the plates ready. Okay, so this is going to be for Seneca. See how pretty that's looking and it's so tasty and so yummy. And you know, you get to get, you get to eat homemade, you know, meals out here if you just plan ahead. So this is going to be it for today, guys. Hope you like my cooking videos. If you like them, uh, subscribe to my channel, give it a like, and then let me know um, what else would you like to see me cooking out here and I'll do it. Bye.